Good morning, good morning, good morning, Cancer. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever you come across this reading. I hope everyone is staying safe. How are y'all doing, Cancer? I love you guys. Thank you so much for your beautiful comments. Thank you so much for all the happy birthday love to me on Tuesday, September the 5th. I want to say thank you. If some of you did miss that, you can go to the community board and you can see uh, the uploaded picture, okay? Um, I love you guys. To new viewers, cross watchers, please come on in. Take what resonates, okay? Leave the rest with someone else, all right? Make sure you reverse the roles. Um, I need y'all to stay with me. There are lessons, blessings, and confirmations in all of my readings, okay? So we're going to get started. Spirit, guides, divine universe, I ask you to give me clarity, understanding. Most of all, I need your protection. What is it? Let's see what's in your energy. Cancer. Let's see what's been going on with your energy. Spirit guides, talk to me. For Cancer. What's been going on in Cancer's energy? Oh, it's a lot of energy. Okay. Okay. It's a lot of energy. Tell me more. Okay. Stop. Spirit guides, talk to me. A lot of energy. A lot of messages trying to come through, Cancer. Okay, Sp space, st space, stop. Some of you been in dark, been in uh, your vibration. You've been um, in some uh, a dark space. And spirit guides, God, whoever your higher source is saying to stop. Some of you are depressed. Some of you are in a dark energy. Okay, intuition, energy. All right, it's time, okay? Some of you are very intuitive. And you are, you very, your intuition is very powerful. It's the energy that I'm getting. But uh, Spirit Guides want you to get out of this, this, this dark, this dark space, okay? Mystery is here is all about secrets, okay? Peace, trust. Trust this process is what Spirit Guides is telling me. Uh, some of you, yes, you're definitely in a dark space. Or you were in a dark space. Now you have lifted your energy up. Because the energy is right beside the dark space. You're very intuitive. I'm also picking up the energy, Cancer, is that I feel like with this energy, I feel like with this mystery card, Spirit Guides is telling me that you found out that the person that your partner or someone that you've been talking to was holding a secret or they being they are being very secretive it's the energy that i'm picking up okay let's see let's see let's get some more energy cancer yeah this connection you feel like this person is being very secretive and you're not happy you got the strength card here. You're trying to have confidence in this connection, but you feel like this person is holding secrets. And right now, you're just not happy. Yeah, you feel some deceit. You feel like there's some deceit going on. That's it. Yeah, you got anxiety. You got the healer of all ages and you got the temple in the reverse. I feel like God or whoever your higher source has been trying to reach you, been trying to, but you're not, you're not, um, you're, you're missing the signs. Yeah, I feel like you're ready to start a new journey, okay, because this is causing you to have a lot of anxiety, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of messages here. Yeah, I feel like you're, some of you are ready to walk away from this connection. Just give me a minute. Let me pick up this energy. Yeah, I feel like you haven't been, you haven't, you haven't been praying. You haven't been trusting in God. You haven't been, okay, whoever you hire your source, the temple path in the reverse. You're not listening to your spirit guides. The spirit guides has been trying to tell you, been trying to give you messages uh, about this situation. But I feel like some of you, not all of you, take what resonates. You've been ignoring it. I feel like in also with the angel of strength and a, a caring connection, you really care for this person. You really, 
you know, you're really trying to be strong about this. You're really trying to not overthink this, but you feel like there's some betrayal. There's some d distrust. And right now you're not happy. Some of you are going to walk away and start a new journey. Some of you are thinking about walking away. This can always, everybody's on different timelines. You got to understand this, Cancer. Some people, it, this has already happened to. Some people are going through this now. And some people are about to go through this in the near future. But I see walking away. I see a new journey. I feel like you're ready to just move away from this person. Because this has caused you a lot of anxiety. And yeah, I feel like you're ready to get free from this because there's a lot of deception here. Secrets, deception. That's why you have been depressed. But you're very, you're very intuitive. That's why these, that's why this is coming to you so hard. Because you're very intuitive. You feel it from your gut. Okay? You feel it right here in your solo. Soloplex. So that's why you're picking up on this and it's very strong. That you know that this person is being deceiving. You know this person is hiding something. There's a secret, some deception here. And you feel the energy. You got the intuitive card and you have the energy card that came out together. Okay? And this has put you in a dark space. A lot of mystery. A lot of mystery here. This could be a, uh, this could be maybe a twin flame, a soulmate of somebody. Yeah, you walking away. Some of you walking away, busting free, starting a new journey. Some of you literally are moving across a body of water. You're going towards what makes you happy. Okay, because this has caused you a lot of anxiety. A lot of, a lot of messages here. A lot of energy. You've been waiting on me, Cancer? Love you guys. Please make sure you share. Share this. Share the, all of my videos, please. Thank you. It can reach other hurting people or people that needs an outlet. People that needs, you know, not to feel alone. It's all about care for yourself. Okay? It's all about loving yourself. Self-love. Self-care. If this person is being deceiving, holding secrets and, 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 and um, everything it is, you got to love yourself. You don't deserve this. I don't care. It's all about caring for yourself. Cancer. Tell me more spirit guys for cancer. Thank you. Only now is real. Living in the now. Only now is real. It's about you. It's about you right now. It's about how you feel right now. What are you feeling right now? Some of you ready to some of you starting a new journey. Some of you getting ready to walk away because you realize it's about you. It's about self-love. It's about only now is real to you. Okay, being free from this situation. Okay, choose to see no fault. Okay, choosing to see no fault is like okay. I feel like this person you're dealing with or dealt you know dealt with this first person is they they feel as though that you're wrong or they feel as though that they see no fault or they feel or they feel as though that um. You know, they're not, they're not feeling no kind of way about this, but you, you choose to see no fault. I feel like you have chose to neglect what, what you have been feeling all along, but you finally did. I feel like you were neglecting the spirit guys when they was trying to tell you about this, but you, you didn't, you know, you, you was trying not to see fault. You was trying not to be judgmental. I feel like you was trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt is what spirit guys is telling me. I'm trying to understand it. Find comfort in uncertainties. So some of you uh, have been in a, you know, just what you're feeling. Okay. You're very high priestess, intuitive. What you're feeling is what you're feeling. Don't doubt your intuition. Don't doubt that gut feeling because that is what helped you get through life. Your, your, your intuition, your, that solar plexus is what help you navigate through life, it helps you to see right through people. It helps you. Do not ignore your intuition. Find comfort in uncertainty, meaning that it was for your best. It was for your highest good that you left this person, that you decided to walk away 
that you decided that, you know what? You know, this is not going to get it. I feel like what Spirit Guys is telling me here, the energy that I'm pulling, I feel like at one point in time, you know, it's like, nah, he wouldn't do that to me. Nah, she wouldn't do that to me. You saw no, you saw no fault in this person. You, this person was the perfect person for you. You felt like this person would not do you wrong. You just had that much trust in this person or this situation. You chose to neglect what you were feeling at one point in time, some of you. Compassion is your freedom. You know, you're very compassionate, but sometimes that can get you in trouble. Sometimes that can get you in trouble, Cancer, because you try to accept a person for who they really, you know, who they are. And I feel like you really put this person up on a high pedestal is what the energy I'm feeling here. I feel like you really put this person on a high pedestal, but at the time, but, but come to find out that this person had, there was you and someone else, mystery, secret, okay? And you bust free. You left this connection and you started a new journey. Some of you say, I'm just leaving town. You move north, south, east, or west. You started a new journey towards your happiness. And you realize you found comfort in this uncertainty like, you know, you knew with this fine comfort and uncertainty, you knew what you were feeling was right. You knew it was. You knew what you was feeling. You knew what your intuition was feeling was right. See you laying there. Yeah, I feel like when I see intuitively, when I see this violin, it's like violin. It's like this person kept singing, kept playing the same song, kept 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 with the same story, kept with the now now now. You know, I didn't. No, you overthinking. No, I didn't do that. No, that ain't true. No, that ain't that 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 same. The same old song. Tell me more. This is inspiration, Cancer. Inspiration for Cancer. Spirit guys, inspiration. Gratitude. So a lot of you, yeah, you're grateful. You're thankful for this change. Some of you are not with this person anymore. A lot of you, this is past tense. Some of you are about to walk out that door. Okay, some of you are tired of this. Okay, tired of the lies, the deceit. Tired of this person making, um, you know, trying to convince you that they're that what they're feel that you what you were feeling was not true. Some of you are tired of this person lies. Like I told you, the violin, the same old, you know, you're going through the same story. Gratitude and changes here. It says I have the attitude of gratitude for the many gifts within my life, and I express my gratitude in many fascinating ways. I feel like you know you 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 know you were right. And this person just tried to cover it up so much that it did not work. And you're so grateful and thankful that you listened to your intuition. At first, you wasn't listening to the signs that the spirit was trying to send you, that God was sending you. Because you was trying to really, really give this person the benefit of the doubt, okay? But then you started to strongly get some intuition about this person's deceit, this person's energy, okay? And so you decided, you said, I got to, I got to, I got to, I got to get out of this. I got to walk away. It's all about me. It's all about self-love, self-care. It's all about that. And it says, change take place each day of my life and in infinity ways. And I embrace, welcome, and look forward to these new opportunities. You said, I'm grateful and thankful that I listened to, I listened to my intuition because it was telling me very strongly. You have a lot of compassion. Compassion is your freedom, okay? Compassion is your freedom. You try to give people, everybody, the benefit of the doubt. And this right here really puts you in a place like you really thought that you never would believe that this person would have done this to you. You never believed that this person had another person because this person, y'all's connection was so caring. But honey, when you started getting that strong gut feeling, that's when that's when it all started to change. Mm. Where did that card go? Hold on, y'all.
Spirit has another card for Cancer. Another card. Thank you. Abundance. That's when you start gaining clarity. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. Hold on. I got, to, I got to plug in my phone. Hold on, honey. Hold on. <laughs> we can't cut this off. Okay. So you gain a lot of clarity. Okay. You gain a lot of clarity. And now you have abundance. Okay. Your desire. I feel like you really, really, really. You really, this person really fooled you. Because they did, this person did all the right things. But there's somewhere along the line that they slipped up and they did something different that which turned your antenna of your intuition on. So you gain a lot of clarity from this. And it says, as I begin walking my path of self-discovery, I find clarity with each step taken and the new truths are discovered. You gain a lot of clarity. But now you are attracting abundance. You're attracting, when I say abundance, it's not just money, okay? Abundance can mean all areas of your life, okay? It could be joy, peace, your sanity, okay? Uh, your good health. It could be all of that, all right? And it says, I attract abundance into my life each day from all possibilities and directions because you gain a lot of clarity. You're grateful and thankful of this change. And that's where you find comfort at, is that your compassion for people, your compassion for relationships, you take it very seriously. And this person really fooled you because, you know, you know, there was a lot of caring, a lot of affection, in, but at the same time, you found out that there was a mystery, there was a secret, there was someone else, okay? There was someone else, a lot of deceit in here. So, yeah, we live and we learn, don't we? Gain a lot of clarity. Yep, you broke free. You broke free from this. It says you're being asked to break free from the tribe in order to live your authentic life. To start taking care of yourself, to start self-care, self-love is what this card is saying. This isn't easy, but it is very necessary that you do this. It's very necessary that you did do this. It's very necessary that you did break free and you got away from this connection. If you're going to share your true self with others, be brave, be real, be you. And trust that those who love you, Cancer, trust that those who love you will always be there for you. Spirit guys, tell me more for Cancer. Miracles and listen. Miracles and listen. Okay? It's all about miracles and listening to your inner voice. That's what it's about. Miracles and abundance is about to take place in your life. You know how miracles work, don't you? Whether they're big or small, this was a miracle that you got out of it. This was a miracle that you listened to your intuition, that navigation system. This was a miracle. Okay? It says... You're being asked to listen to your inner voice. It's been guiding you to do something or say something. And it's time to act upon it. So a lot of you, like I said, you've already been through this. You're going through this now. Or this is in your near future. You need to listen to your inner voice. It's telling you something about this, this person that you have so much, you know, oh, he wouldn't do that to me. She wouldn't do that to me. I know he's faithful. I know she's faithful. You have a lot. You didn't see no flaws in this person. They could do no wrong. But for some of you, this is about to happen. Something is about to strike your nerves, strike your into gut. And it's going to tell you something is going on with this person. This is going to be a miracle. It says you're being asked to pay close attention to all the big and small miracles that have already occurred in your life. Or, and also to those that are currently occurring and are still to come. Miracles surround you. Be on the lookout for them. So there are some miracles that's about to take place. In your, let me hold it up. In your life. In your life. Cancer. One more card, Spirit. One more. Ooh. 
So the card that fell down here, Cancer, is Pause. That's the card, Pause. It says, you're being asked to pause before making a quick decision and moving forward. Allow yourself to step back. Look at all the uh, possible outcomes and make sure you're headed in the right direction before moving forward. So some of you, Spirit Guides are saying, pause, reflect before moving forward. And, you know, and make sure that, you know, you have the right evidence and make sure that you have a plan ahead. Like, where are you going? Uh, you got enough of money saved. Uh, da, 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 Okay? So, let's see, what's, let's see what the cars are saying. Some of your ten toes, you're back in control of your life. You're no longer with this person. Spirit guys, tell me more for cancer. Yeah, you walked away from a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This is you. This is you. You back in control of your life. You walked away from this this connection. Yep, you gained clarity. There it is. You gained clarity. You walked away, gained clarity. You cut this person out of your life. You found you know this person this person wasn't being truthful. This person wasn't being stable. This person wasn't, you know. Yeah, deception. King of Wands in the reverse was being very deceptive. <laughs> yep, you you put your chin up, chest out, and you start a new beginning. You walked away because this person was treating you less than. They were in and out cold. You know what I'm saying? One minute act like they love you, next minute they don't. You know that in and out energy. That's because they were juggling you. And yes, before you did not listen to your intuition because you have the high priestess in reverse. You wasn't in tune with your with your gut feeling. But one day. You woke that up. You released this person because they did not want to invest in you. The devil in reverse. My goodness, my goodness. Some of you don't got remarried. Some of you are happy, remarried. You got to page your pinnacles. You've been through a lot. Okay, since this has happened, all your wishes has been granted. A lot of things going good. A lot of you successful since you left this person. A lot of goodness, okay? You learn to pour into yourself because this person had nothing to offer you with the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? Oh, yeah, that part right there. Yeah, you're no longer married to this person or you're no longer with this person. Yeah, a lot of deception. You said, I just knew this person would never do me this way. And baby... You said, I got to get out of this. You walked away. You walked away. It was unbalanced. They were, you know, juggling you. You gained a lot of cl clarity. Okay. And um, and that was it. Yep. The tower came down. Tower came down. Now, this person that did you this way, uh, yeah, a lot of they right now as we speak, this person's life is upside down. Because they were dealing with, uh, yeah, this person, this person, no, they messed up big time. They know they messed up big time. Mm -hmm. They were very immature. See that? They were very immature. This person could have been younger than you or you younger than them. Okay? This person um, was a player. Okay? They were very Im immature. But they hid it well. They hid it. This person hid it well. Hid it very well. Could have been a could have been a fire sign. They hit it very well. Well, now their life is, boom. They, a lot of things happening to them. So yeah, you decided to walk away, break free. And for some of you, if it haven't happened, that's the, in the energy. For a lot of you, you broke free, ain't look back. Your life is happier. You're successful, but that lets you know that you really thought this person was the one for you, and this person end up being not the one for you. I am Positive Thoughts and Energy Cancer. Until next time.